Hi, my name is Eduardo Ox. I'm the author of an MX package called EV. And EV is about taking executable notes of everything that you do. And this presentation is about how I use this, how I finally found a way to take execut executable notes of what the Python docs say. Uh, let me explain that in another way. I uh, uh, I tried to, to learn Python many ways, but uh, my brain is wired in a weird way, so it didn't work. And finally, a, fi a few months ago, I, f I found a way of studying Python that f finally clicked for me. And the idea is that, well, it's here in the title, is a way to create short hyperlinks, short hyperlinks to the documentation of Python. Here's an example. Uh, this file contains some some chunks of code from the Python tutorial and some links to the, to the places in, in which I found these chunks of code. For example, if I run this link here, it opens a certain page of the Python tutorial in my browser. Note that it opens the local copy of the documentation. And if I uh, run this link here, it opens the source in RST uh, of the same page. So the first link opened the HTML and this one opens uh, RST. This is useful because in the beginning I was uh, copying these chunks of code in the obvious way. I, was sim I would simply visit the, the documentation in HTML and I would mark a chunk of a snippet of code here and I would copy it to my notes. Um, and then after a while as I, f I realized that it was much easier to simply go to the RST sources and to copy the, the chunks of code from there. And note that these links look quite similar. Uh, there's one difference here that is this uh, R that is prepended to, to the name of the, the function and the R means open the RST and if I use the suffix W it means uh, use the documentation on the web instead of using the local copy so this one opens a local copy and this one takes a while and opens the, the page of the documentation in the site of Python, blah, blah, blah. And this thing here is executable in the usual EEV sense that we can, if we type F8 several times here, the F8s on the, on the lines that start with red stars uh, create a, a target buffer here. And in this case, it creates a target buffer running Python. And if I type F8 on these other lines, these other lines are sent to, to that REPL. But anyway, let me go back. Oops. Uh, most of the things that I'm going to present here are in the tutorial of this package. Um, we can go to the source code here in the EV directory, it's a file called evrestdoc.el, but the uh, the best docs are in the tutorial here. And the tutorial also has some executable uh, chunks of uh, some some snippets of of Python code that that are executable, and but they don't have those nice colors. So apologies for that. Uh, we need to run this thing here to make everything work. This thing will define some functions with, with funny names that, we, that I will explain later. Uh, <coughs> Let me explain something new. Uh, let's compare all these uh, links here. They take this argument here and they expand the the argument in a certain way. For example, this string is expanded to this long URL here. Note that it got a prefix here. That's quite long. It got uh, .html here and then the hash and the anchor here. 
and each one of the functions in the family in the PyDoc family expands this argument in a different way. Uh, the one that that opens the doc in the in the web uses another prefix, this one, and the one that opens the RST file it ignores the part after the hash. Uh, for technical reasons, uh, I, I was never able to, to find a good way to convert this hash into a string to search for. So I have to, to, to make something that goes to the right section in the link to the RST doc. I have to uh, convert by hand and by trial and error this thing here into a pointer to that, se that section, like this one, in which the numeric types is here. So, all these links here are based on expansion and the, this is easy to understand. But uh, suppose that, that I want to create a link like this, or suppose that I was I'm browsing the docs here and I, just, I follow some, some links. Let me do something random here. Uh, where is it? Here. Suppose that I, I decided that this section is very interesting. How can I create a link to that? I can uh, use this uh, Pilcrow symbol and the copy link address and copy the link to my notes. And then the the Python family, well, we saw that the, the functions in the Python family have a certain way, have several ways of expanding these uh, this short arguments. And they also have a certain way of shortening URLs like this one. If I type metax pdk, the message is this one. pdk is a, is a mnemonic for a Python doc kill. And this kill mule means copy to the kill ring. So if I type metax pdk here, it uh, considers that this thing is a link to the to the Python docs, and it shortens this link in a certain way, and it kills uh, a short link. I can insert the short links with Control Y yank. And then I can test this link to be sure that it points to, uh, to where I want to. And then I can delete this thing and ta-da, now I have a short link. And of course I can modify this link by adding a suffix here. And in this case here, I will have to uh, change the identifier by something else. I'm not going to do that now. Uh, this module of EV comes with three families predefined. Uh, one is a family that points to the, the documentation of Python itself. Another one points to the documentation of SymPy, that is a program for symbolic computation, for doing uh, mathematics, equations, and blah, blah. And the other one is points to the documentation of Matplotlib. Uh, how do these families work? Uh, each family has to, to be defined in, in two parts. Uh, remember that uh, EV has lots of families like this one, the, uh, sorry, sorry, lots of functions like this one. This one is the most basic and it is explained here in this section of the main tutorial. And this section explains that uh, a sex like this one produces lots of functions, uh, produces a family of functions, and it does that by producing a certain chunk of code and then executing this chunk of code. And if we add a certain prefix here, find, and if we execute this, we can, instead of executing that chunk of code, we can see what is that chunk of code. In the case of code CD, it is this, it is a set queue, several defunds, and some comments here with links to the documentation. Uh, in the case of RSC doc, it's the same. We have this function here that defines the function in the Python family. 
and we can run this to understand what this code RST doc does. It creates this temporary buffer here with lots of the funds, uh, a code CD here, and lots of comments here, and the comments include some tests. For example, we can use these functions here to test how the expansion works. Uh, and note that in this buffer here, we don't have the paths that, that this family uses. It, we don't have, the, for example, the URL that points to the site of Python, to the directory that contains the reference manual or, or whatever. All these things are in another part of the definition of that family that is a variable. If you if we execute this, we go to the source code of the of evrst doc and to the part in which this variable is defined. And for each family, we have a variable like this, whose variable whose value is a property list with several fields. These first fields are very easy to understand. They are used in the expansion, this one too. And these uh, two fields are used in the shrinking, in the shortening, and this field here uh, tells what is the name of the, the killing function. So the fields of this thing here are used to generate some fields are used to, to generate the code that appears here, and some fields are simply uh, read by functions like this one that consult the variable. Now the natural question is, how can we define new families? Or how can we uh, change a family like this one to point to another version of, the, of Python? Uh, there are some template-based functions for doing that. They are ex explained in this section of the tutorial. Where is that? Oh god, it's far away. Here. Uh, <coughs> suppose that we have a package foo that we want to create the uh, family that points to to uh, the dots of that package full. So if we, we can execute this thing here and it generates this, this thing from a template. If we just want to modify uh, a current definition, we can run something like this. Note that the family, family pi already exists. And instead of using placeholders, instead of in some of these URLs, it will use the current values of the fields. So we can also use this to modify uh, existing families. Uh, well, these are the technical details. Uh, now the natural question is, uh, why, why do I want this? Why, why would I... Uh, this doesn't make sense, any sense to me. Why should I try this? And the best answer is, for most people, this way of, of using... Uh, executable nodes do not make any sense at all at, at first sight. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to write these tutorials with uh, with many examples that are very easy to run and that examine uh, data structures and functions and test things and so on. So my uh, main argument for test, for convincing people is to test this is ah. Uh, uh, this is trivial to test. Simply install AV and run this thing here and run the examples and probably where you're going to find that this, this, is, this tutorial is fun to follow. So that's it.